Have you ever air fried dry ice? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. There's a phenomenon sweeping kitchens worldwide and that phenomenon is known as the air fryer. You got one? I do not. I thought you did. I don't. Oh, uh, it's an appliance that uses convection to circulate hot air and fry yeah. foods without using any oil. You should get one. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm in the market. Okay. I'm gonna find out today. Okay. Yes, there are subreddits, Twitter pages, Facebook groups all dedicated to people's love of air fried food. But sometimes they ask for requests like this guy, Napoleon. I think Napoleon Morset. Uh, he says, Who got the best air dry air fried food photo? My mouth is dry. So post some photos to help me out. Okay, Napoleon. You're in luck because today we're gonna air fry some things that I guarantee your mouth ain't never seen before. It's time for Putting Things in Things Air Fryer Edition. Today we're gonna be putting things in the Big Boss Oilless Air Fryer, not a sponsor. Uh, we chose this one because it's glass, so we can film and then time lapse the process of all the dumb things being fried. <laughs> That's right. And remember, we do this so you don't have to, so please do not try this at home. All right, so for this first one, let's say you're throwing a party okay. and you've invited your classy friends, uh -huh. like the wine and cheese type, but you also invited your salt of the earth friends who like fried food, like me. Air fried food. And uh, yeah, I think this will make them both happy and concerned for our sanity. Okay, so the whole point of the air fryer is to not use oil because you're trying to do it healthy. So we're not using oil, but we are using wine because we're classy. Uh, also, we have this charcuterie. Oh. Board, plate. Uh, Link, I'm gonna pour the wine in and if you can just recreate that on the grate. Yes, make it nice and beauty. Oh, oh okay. That's it. I gotta balance the cheese. Really Always balance the cheese. Really turned over here. Use the whole bottle, don't be bashful. Look at that. Get the isn't, drips. Isn't that gonna be nice? Get, whoa. Right now. Oh, look at that. I thought that was like a corn on the cob, but that's a honey. <laughs> that's a honey slice. <laughs> Honeycomb. Don't get your corn on the cob confused with your honey. <laughs> that's a disappointment. You're in for a long night if you do. All right, so we're gonna put the top on this thing and we're gonna set it to 450 degrees. 480. 80. 480. 480. 480. Let's go all the way to. And David, go ahead and take this away and let's see what this special Dinner becomes. Okay, lick the plate. Let's do that for 15 minutes. Turning it on, heat it up, spin it out. Oh, go, whoa, whoa. we lost the honey. The honey's gone. It's like that guy in Indiana Jones. Melting away. All right, there You're it welcome. is. So, so we've got, hmm. okay, how hot is this? Push that in here. I'm gonna open this. Open this up. The air fryer comes with these special Ooh. tongs. Oh, that smells oh. interesting. Oh, wow, look, now there's a good amount of cheese. Like, look at that, first of all. Yeah, I'm gonna get this out so we can. The the edge of that stinky cheese is still up, but all the cheese melted out of it. The meat got a little hard. Look at this slurry. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Okay. Two big cheese dollops, bunch of wine. So we bring those glasses in. Oh. Let me scoop you. Let me ladle, ladle you some. Okay. Some beverage. Now it looks like we've made toast and crispy bacon and withered grapes. Here you go. I got you a big block. I got you a big dollop of cheese. Oh I'm gonna do my own. Oh, I'm gonna get that big. Thing here. There we go. Oh, cheesy wine. This can't be bad, right? I like my wine chunky. That's one of the things I look look for. Yeah, just a little bit more in there. No, you still want to be fancy, okay? So you want to just swirl a little bit. You don't want to eat a grape first. Oh, a grape first. Oh, that's that's a sad grape. Oh, it's, oh, it's hot oh, too. Oh, oh, Ooh, that's hot. What about some of this meat? Oh, the meat is all one, it's just one piece, and that's hot. Oh, whoa, whoa. Let's mm. go with the wine first. It's too hot over there. All right, <laughs> wine and cheese, if you please. Dink it. Oh, that made a very Only five times. Oh gosh. <laughs> I mean, well. It's oily. The nose on this one, woo. <sighs> I love this. I hate Stinky Dude. 
Like, man, you're just drinking a foot. It's mm. like somebody went out and played for a long time. <laughs> then came inside and stuck their foot in your wine. This is from the vineyard. And I love it. A Frenchman did. Burbank. Um, I think I want to dip oh, a little. Oh, yeah. I, dip some I bread. can't do that, but I need to get a little bit of the. Hold on, but wine, putting wine and cheese in a dish, is it's not. there's nothing weird about that. I mean, you cook with wine mm. and cheese all the time. Yeah. Okay. Yep. What this thing? That one stayed together. That's nice. Get a little toast. Oh, that's hot cheese. I feel like the salt of the earth and the snootiness is really coming together, and everybody should be happy. Okay, if you're not familiar with Hatchimals, they're these little toy eggs. They have uh, creatures inside them that will hatch if you rub them and apply heat to them. And I usually uh, use hens, actual hens to hatch my Hatchimals, but that's because I don't have an air fryer. <laughs> okay, and it's fun because you can take these things to crack them, and then once you've, ooh, once you've done oh, that. Nice crack, Link. Yeah, my hand hurt. Let's put these on a plate, just because okay. last time everything just kind of went through. I don't want that to happen again. I want to be able to see the results clearly. Okay. So just place your, set it straight up. Okay, sure. Yeah. There we go, like that. And then a, a cracked and an uncracked. All right, David, I'm gonna set this thing all the way again and take it away, man. Mm. We will time lapse the heck out of that hash you <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's make them hatch or melt. Hmm. You think the chick survived? I don't know. Maybe. Okay, right. eight minutes of frying. Let's check in on our little chicks. Okay. Oh yeah, the hotness is apparent. Can you? You can't grab that plate, can you? I, um, maybe oh, I can grab it with this. It it uh it doesn't it doesn't smell edible. Not that we were gonna eat it, but. <laughs> All right, see it. Okay, so that's the cracked one. See if you can open it. Let's move this one out of the way. Ooh, if they're stuck together. Get this one off of it. That might be my fault. We made it, baby. What? Oh my gosh. I think we brought it out a little early. <laughs> uh, oh! <laughs> I forgot that the plate was in there. Yeah, that's. Dang it, dang it, dang it. <laughs> that's. That's pretty I much. grabbed it three times. I was like, hop it down, hop it down. I was like, it's like I didn't realize. Oh, well, look, there's another. But my one. brain told me not to grab it. Oh, there's a little, grab little, it. little baby in there, too. You can probably grab that baby. I ain't grabbing nothing now. Whoa, hey. I think it's, a, it's an elephant. It's a little baby. elephant, baby. It's like a hot elephant covered in gum. And you can eat these, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Uh, no, 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 no. It's a little, it's a glow worm. So this is. This is what you should do before you give it to the children. Right, yes. Make it nice and piping hot. Give your hot Hatchimals to the kids. Toxic fumes are. Don't try that at home. Ah, a but bit much. Kevin told me a satisfying tip that I can't believe I've never tried, and that's taking piping hot socks out of your dryer and putting them directly on your feet. Oh, on your feet, huh? Yeah, on your feet. I'm definitely gonna try that, but since we have an air fryer, we should do it with this first. Yes. Uh, now I got long socks, short socks, and long socks. Are you a short sock man or a long sock man? Because we're gonna put these on. Uh, you're Well, you're taller than me, so okay. you can have that, the long ones. That's how it works. Um, all right, so we got the grate here. And let's just, well, let's get them inside. And now they may burn up. Who, I don't know what's gonna now, happen. These are a little damp, uh, not because we just sweat in them, but because we're emulating as if they just came out of the All right, washer. David. Take it away. Uh, I've cranked it up to 480. You're consistent. You always go to four. Go right to 480. Hey, it's the top, man. And my feet are a little cool, so let's remedy that. I'll heat them up so I can wear them out. All right, not a lot happening. No, nope. uh, they're just socks. They're still socks. Look at those socks. Socking it up. All right, our feet are ready. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is a good idea, man. Give me them long socks, Link. Oh, this, Whoa, <laughs> this might be a little warm for your toesies. I want to get it while it's hot, man. I want to get it while it's hot. I don't want to burn you, but I'm just going to dab it and see. Is that Woo! too hot? Woo! Is it Woo! too hot? This is so exciting. Is, is it too hot? No, it's good. Okay, here. So put that. It's still wet, though. <laughs> oh, it is? Yeah, it's definitely still. I'm going to give you a long one and a short one. And I'm going to go with a long one. Definitely still wet. Oh, oh, we're getting a wet sock on. Now, one of the things that we live for around here now is hot towels. <laughs> Why is this sock and got this so many like stains a hot on towel it? From a foot. Oh, <laughs> wow, 
Why is it? It's, it's so wet. It shouldn't be wet. It's still like that's the that's why a dryer is superior. But let me tell you, it feels good. No, nope, mine's are already cold. And now it's cold. <laughs> mine's are already cold. Mine's are cold too. It's man. like when you pee on yourself, it feels good for a few seconds. Yep, yep. You got to think long term. <laughs> and you're like, oh man, I got to be like this all day. Soggy sock boys, putting our shoes back on and being losers. <laughs> Now Kevin told me that Josh told him, so don't hold me to this, but if you've got a football that needs a little air, but you don't have a pump, you can put it in a microwave and it will plump up. Uh, maybe he's lying, or maybe an air fryer would work even better. So this is, as you can see, very low on air. I'm gonna do this. Okay. Push the nose in. Laces up. Or kinda uppish. Laces to the side. <laughs> put that on. Give it a nice crank, and David, take it to the hot zone. Oh, I'm ready. And let's watch the process. I'm ready to play. Is it gonna explode? Hike, hike, or is it hot, hot? Oh, okay, well, there's a problem. That's like a whirlwind. Yeah. Oh, there's burnage, yeah, we got, stop it. We got some broiled pig skin. Okay, so we, we truncated this process because um, it, it, it started burning. It got, it got dangerous. Oh my gosh, it, you'd think that a pig skin would just, uh, when burnt, would I, smell like bacon. I doubt that it's actual, oh gosh. Oh gosh. Hold your breath, guys. I doubt that it's an actual pigskin. Or just. It looks like a football that was in an accident. <laughs> of sorts, but I'll tell you right now. Oh wow, that right there. Is it taut? Call Tom Brady, because this thing is plump. <laughs> he likes it, he likes it deflated. Yeah, it was a burn. <laughs> oh. Okay, is this what we're doing? Yeah, we're, we're playing. We're that playing. actually looks like a wound, doesn't it? We're playing catch. I'm just gonna <laughs> tell it. <laughs> okay, well, uh, now, it might ruin your football, but if you just got one day left on Earth <laughs> and you wanna play with a plump ball, <laughs> a plump football, um, there, Fryer does the trick. Now Kevin told me that Josh told him that Chase told him mm -hmm. that the biggest complaint with the air fryer is that it dries out food, but what yep. they didn't know was I was the one who told Chase that. Oh, circle! <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we thought, why not put dry ice in uh, air fryer? <laughs> yeah, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some water in here, cover the ice. Ooh, look at that, so we get science! The, the cool effects. Look at that, look at that. Are you looking at it? Oh, whoa. How much you want to, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna seal this, huh? <laughs> That's fun. Oh my word. That's fun. All right, David, take it away. We gotta, we gotta fry this dry ice down. Yeah, we do. What is gonna happen? I don't know. Wow, I just, I feel like Bill Nye or something. <laughs> <laughs> something. So when the heat and circulator came on, it kind of sucked the fog out, and then um, when it was turned off, the fog came back and it created a sort of cyclone. And we're gonna do it in real time here. It's like a weather s system. It's like, okay kids, this is how you learn about weather systems. The world. All you need is an air fryer and some dry is ice. A, is an air fryer and you are the dry ice. Look at that. Oh, okay, yeah. See, it just, just goes away and then when you, you turn it off. It's like the, the steam effect. can't take the heat. Well, I think the dry ice is, is lost. Oh, there it is. Here's the cyclone. Science in an air fryer. Yeah, and then if I take this off. No, don't! <laughs> I'm scared, I scared you didn't. Come on, man. It's easy to get you worked up. Well, I don't know what I'm about <laughs> to do. Yeah, I don't you, know. You are a man who once drank cat urine water. It was cat feces. <laughs> Throw a Hatchimal in there. Hey, watch yourself. It's just water. Give me a. Oh, look. Whoa, that really did it. It's like I'm a witch's brew. Hey, let's throw a burnt football in there. <laughs> no, don't bring that thing we back. We took in that there. thing out because it stinks. Okay, there you go. But we you don't. We made science happen in air fryers, uh, so you don't have to. Yeah, just go to sleep, little Hatchimals. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. Hi, my name is Krishna. I'm at the Dead Sea in Jordan, and it's time to spin the Wheel of Mythicality. Very easy to float there. Yes, because of all the salt. Click the top link to watch us air fry an entire cake and get mythical more. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is gonna land. Hungry for some thought-provoking conversation? Feast on the latest episodes of Ear Biscuits. Available now on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get podcasts.